Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another daily dose of COVID. <laughs> I um, just posted yesterday's video and um, I just woke up as well and I'm tired. I could practically probably fall asleep again. Like I just wake up and my eyes just feel so darn heavy. Sorry, my hair looks kind of crazy. I obviously just woke up and I really don't care because I don't feel good, which is weird because Dan and Jojo, they feel fine and here I am just like so darn tired. I think it's because I am immunocompromised. Um, but um, you guys did send in your questions over on Instagram. So I'm gonna do like a Q and A today throughout the day and whatnot. Probably gonna go take a shower right now because I probably need the shower. I do wanna turn on my lights though. You might be like, Kyle, Christmas is over. No, 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 it's not over. It's not over until the first, until I get out of quarantine or isolation. Before we go in the shower, I am FaceTiming my parents here in the morning. They don't want to be on camera. At least my mom doesn't want to be on camera. See, I feel like, you know, when you're sick, you don't care how bad you look on camera, but when you're like healthy, you care. And that's my mom right now. She's like, I just woke up. I don't want to be on camera, but we're going to go take a shower now. And then we'll hop into the Q&A. So I have a change of plans. We're not going to take a shower because I just put a hat on. So hair looks fine. But I'm going to show you guys how I've kind of been ordering food. I don't use Uber food or whatever it's called. I use um, DoorDash because I can't use um, Uber food for whatever reason. Um, because I'm locked out of my Uber account. Because it was set up with my... Um, school email so i don't have access to anymore but anyways i'm gonna order some breakfast on door dash um <clears throat> first watch is some really good breakfast so i'm gonna order first watch breakfast it's pretty darn good um, obviously ordering food online is expensive so i don't try to do it a lot but it's the only thing i can do now because i don't have any food here um because fun fact i usually go to the store like day of and get food um so i have no food here but I'm gonna order food from First Watch. It's gonna be my breakfast today. I don't really know what to get because I've only had uh, First Watch a handful of times, but it's like it's not like I can get eggs. I'd probably get like some mashed potatoes, some waffles. Um, the cool thing about DoorDash is it tells you when it's gonna be delivered and whatnot. So I really like it. It's just obviously pretty darn expensive. I would go for their eggs, but you know, I'm not getting eggs delivered. That's just kind of weird. Also, I'm on FaceTime with Taylor. You can't see her right now, but she's okay. all the way in Australia. <laughs> they have so many good things, like the avocado toast. Like, it tastes just like the avocado toast from uh, Flower and Garden or at Epcot. Um, I can still taste, by the way. Um, I think I did lose it a little bit yesterday, but I feel like that was just because of the hot chocolate. <coughs> so I'm gonna get lemon ricotta pancakes. And then they also have candied bacon. So I'm gonna add some candied bacon on the side. I was gonna get the, the avocado toast, but we'll just get that tomorrow, you know? We have like 10 more days left, so might as well save some food for tomorrow. I sorta of kinda of feel like an old man ordering the food though, just because I feel like I could fall asleep in my bed, I'm sorry, in my chair right now. That's how tired I am. My eyes just feel really heavy. It's not my body, my eyes are just super duper tired. Like they're really, really heavy and my throat is starting to hurt, so yeah. Well, I've never had this happen before. <laughs> I could cry. I was really excited for some first watch. Come on. Unbelievable. I guess we'll try first watch tomorrow. I'll just order Kiki's breakfast instead. It's similar, but not as good as first watch. I'm gonna surprise you guys with what we ordered, but I'm gonna light a candle and we're gonna do some uh, Q and A. <laughs> All right, we can start the Q&A now. We've got the Grinch repellent lit. Let's do this. Before we get this Q&A started, our food has arrived. Food. Okay. One. Two. Pretty much going to be my life, ordering food. I think I could order groceries as well, but I don't think I can get groceries delivered. If you guys know if I can get groceries delivered, please let me know down below. Cause I know Target, you can go pick it up. Um, I don't know if I can do that with COVID though, obviously, but what did I get? Oh, that's right, I got a waffle. <laughs> oh man, this doesn't really look good at all. Oh, and I got sausage on the side. This is why I wanted to order first watch because 
Kiki's is kind of like a like simmered down version of a first watch. Yeah, kind of just a basic waffle at that. But you know, this is what I get for ordering out of somewhere it's supposed to be like sit, you know, sit down for breakfast. You don't really order out breakfast much. Um, but I guess we'll see how good first watch is tomorrow. Um, this doesn't really look that appetizing. Let's be real here. It just looks like a cold waffle. Yeah, it's cold. Love that. Mm, sausage is good. This is better than Disney sausage. And the important thing is I can taste. I can taste. <coughs> Just cough a lot. And the almighty important taste test. It's a chewy waffle. There's no crunch to it. Hopefully your breakfast tomorrow is better, but I want to get on into this Q&A. So I'm going to finish up eating and then we'll we'll get into your guys' questions that you have about me having COVID. Okay. So yeah, breakfast could have been better. Maybe tomorrow it's gonna be better because we're gonna be ordering from first watch, hopefully. But um, let's get into some of you guys' questions that you submitted over on my Instagram and a few of them on uh, our YouTube channel yesterday. Is my dad gonna reschedule his Christmas visit? Um, at the moment, we are not rescheduling that, but um, my dad has an annual pass, so he can theoretically come <coughs> whenever he wants. Encanto was a great movie. I actually really liked it. It was beautiful, had a good story. I highly suggest seeing Encanto. It's the new Disney uh, movie that is now on Disney Plus. How am I feeling? Well, I feel like I'm getting better and I'm getting worse. I feel like the only symptom that's getting worse is me uh, having to sleep every second of the day. Like I could seriously, theoretically just fall asleep um, any any second. Um, I didn't wake up with too much of a cough this morning as I did yesterday. It's more of a dry kind of painful cough than um, like a thick mucus cough. <laughs> um, but I'm still really, really tired, really exhausted. Um, and that's kind of like the only symptoms I really have. I don't have like body shivers. I don't have a fever. Um, the only symptom I have really is just me being tired 24 seven and my cough, coughing attacks. I get random coughing attacks, which is kind of perfect for the next question. How many naps do I take? I, I don't know. I feel like I've been taking two to three a day. I could honestly, like I said, I could, I could sleep all day, but it's usually like two to three naps. Sometimes they're like two hours, an hour, 30 minutes. Um, yeah, I'm a grandpa. Random question, but uh, favorite Harry Potter movie? I really like the Goblet, Goblin of Fire. Um, did I say Goblin? It's Goblet of Fire, but I also like Prisoner of Azkaban. I can honestly quote all the Harry Potter movies like word for word. I grew up watching them. And speaking of Harry Potter, I think on the first they're coming out with like a anniversary special when they all get together and talk. So I'll be watching that. Maybe not because that's the first day I can get out of quarantine. The test did not say which variant it was. I don't think they it, it says that at all. I just think it just says you're positive. Um, so I don't know if it was the new variant or the old variant. I have been cooking slash ordering out. Today is like the first time you guys saw me order, order out, um, but I'm trying to order out versus cooking because I don't really have any food here and I'm not the best cook. However, I did want to maybe make some Disney food, but I don't have any anything to cook it with or make it, I have pots and pans. <laughs> Just answered the symptoms one, so um, yeah. I hope that answers this question. I am vaccinated. I have been vaccinated since the earliest you could get vaccinated. Um, I have the Pfizer vaccination, but obviously both doses, I have my card. I couldn't travel without being vaccinated, so if you guys don't believe me, um, there's my proof I had to be back to travel. Oh my gosh, I'm binging everything, everything and everything. I actually might watch all of the Marvel movies again. I don't know, because they're not all on one streaming device. I could theoretically, already, theoretically watch them all on Disney+, Plus, but I've been hugely uh, fascinated with World War II my whole life, as you guys probably know, because I covered it yesterday. I've been watching World War II documentaries on nonstop. But if you guys have any suggestions on Netflix, please leave them down below because I need, I'm running out of content to watch. Two questions here. When I go to Australia, I'm going to visit my friend Taylor and she's gonna be my tour guide. So I have really no idea where we're gonna go. Uh, obviously I wanna go to Sydney because I feel like that's what everyone thinks of when they think of Australia, right? 
definitely want to go to Sydney and because, you know, in Finding Nemo. As far as 2022 goes, I did make a video on like what 2022 is going to look. Um, so you guys can go ahead and view that video if you want. But the big thing is we'll be going on a huge, huge cruise next year. So Danny is going to be working Bell Services. This was actually one of my jobs that I worked when I used to uh, work for Walt Disney World and actually on my CP at the Wilderness Lodge. Um, Wow, that's when we actually did the first daily vlogs in 2019. Any tips? Let's see here. Um, honestly, it's kind of a relatively easy job. You just have some really fast paced times and some really slow times because theoretically everyone's not checking in uh, throughout the whole day. So like three o'clock, it's super busy because everyone wants to get their rooms and their bags and whatnot. It's a really easy job. Just have fun with it. And it was one of my favorite jobs that I worked at Disney. <laughs> Got this question a lot. One of my symptoms, basically I, I uh, sleep a lot and I'm kind of congested. I do feel like it's getting worse, um, which is weird, but yeah, we'll, we'll document this. Hopefully tomorrow is better than today because I feel like I'm worse today than yesterday. And what I mean by that is like, I feel like I'm totally like pushing for this video right now. I'm just like, I'm seriously so drained guys. I'm, I'm really tired. Maybe it's cause I didn't take a nap today. Um, as far as where I got COVID, I mean, maybe from Jojo, from Dan, it's really hard to obviously pinpoint from where I got COVID from. Um, obviously Disney, could have gotten it from Disney, but there's no way of saying I got it from Disney. So um, I don't think I got it from Disney, honestly. What are your symptoms? <laughs> you guys, you guys killed this question. I have, I already answered this. <coughs> I do use my uh, my Apple watch to get on into the park. Sometimes it doesn't work, so I'll have to use my annual pass card, but I use just my Apple watch. I don't have it on now, but I do have an Apple watch tan. Can you guys see that? Kind of, I don't tan much, but you can kind of see the tan lines here. It's like really white and here it's not as white. But yeah, that's how I get in the parks. Apple watch tap. And I can use my phone too. Maybe a lot of you guys actually don't know this depending on how you how um, new you are to my channel. But I feel like a lot of you guys do know um, I am immunocompromised with uh, with the medication that I take. I'm on Humira and um, I have a disease called ankylosing spondylitis. And Humira actually makes me immunocompromised. It makes me be sick for a prolonged period of time, which might make sense on why I'm actually feeling some more symptoms than Jojo and Dan are, um, because they've obviously been both vaccinated, vaccinated um, and the same have I, but I am immunocompromised. Um, my doctor basically just said, keep an eye on it. And if anything gets worse or severe, like we're kind of seeing right now, we're kind of seeing like a decline um, in how I'm feeling. Uh, just to contact him and keep him aware and whatnot. Um, I do, oh, one other symptom I have is um, I get out of breath really easily. I know that's one of the symptoms of COVID, um, but that's one that I'm experiencing. Like um, if I, I, I tested this yesterday when I kind of ran in the, like jogged, I, I ran out of breath pretty quick. It's kind of scary actually. <laughs> um, in February of 2021, my sister and I, we went to Kalahari, really fun. It's actually like, I think one of like the third, the third biggest indoor water park in America now. I think Kalahari somewhere else, maybe in Ohio is like the biggest now, but it's a lot of fun. We're going to be going back to Wisconsin Dells next year, very soon actually. Yesterday, Christmas was, was a great day. I mean, the Packers won. It was great. We barely won. My goodness, my goodness. But we are going to wrap up hopefully home field advantage and we get to head up to Green Bay for hopefully two playoff games, which will be a lot of fun. I can't wait to go to a Packer game and vlog it for you guys, or just in general, because I literally can't wait to go to a Packer game and have some cheese curds. I don't know what my tickets are gonna be yet. Depending on if they win the first game, I might book a box ticket for the second game because I just wanna want you guys to see Lambeau Field for what it is. It's amazing. So hopefully we get uh, <clears throat> home field advantage. Um, my temperature is just the same. I don't really have a temperature at all. Um, in fact, I really haven't tested it um, much because I don't really feel like I have a fear. Um, I don't have any body aches, no body aches. I, you know, I already went run over my symptoms. It's weird that I don't have any body aches or temperature at all. I don't know, pretty weird. So a lot of you guys know my dad, he was coming down um, and we had a lot of things booked. I want to tell you guys a little hack for uh, canceling Disney reservations for food. So like Brown Derby, um, or actually like I had to cancel Steakhouse 71 day of, 
and sometimes Disney doesn't let you cancel it because there's a cancellation fee. If you guys actually just modify it and move it to like a later date, you don't get a cancellation fee. So canceling stuff was really easy. Um, the hotels were fairly easy. My dad's an annual pass holder, so we didn't have any tickets. It was just his annual pass. So thankful it really wasn't too bad to cancel. Um, but now you guys know a little hack on how to cancel Disney food reservations. Just move it out and uh, click cancel because sometimes it won't let you cancel, but it lets you modify it and then you have no cancellation fee. I don't even know how much a cancellation fee is, honestly. Probably the newest one, probably the Omni. I'm gonna call it Omni because I, I know it's not called Omni, but I said it in the other vlog, so. We have the Omni, I guess. <laughs> what kind of a dog do I want? Obviously, a golden retriever. I love golden retriever with, with all my heart. I can't wait to have a golden retriever. I could get a do golden doodle as well. One of the two. What's the first thing I'm gonna do? What's the first thing you think I'm gonna do? Hmm. I'm obviously gonna go to Disney World. I don't know which park we should go to. Maybe Magic Kingdom? No, we were just at Magic Kingdom. But I would. it would be cool for Magic Kingdom to be the first park that we go to in 2022. Because we're gonna be probably, well, we, we can go on the first. Um, so, um, yeah, I don't know. Should we vote on which park we go to? Because technically we're going to be going together, but we could go to Epcot because they'll probably be tearing down the, the New Year's stuff that they've already been putting up. And I'm so mad because I haven't been able to go to Epcot ever on, um, New Year's Eve. And this year was going to be the first. Yay for missing out on another New Year's at Epcot. However, I think this year's a little simmered down versus the other years because there's usually like tons of parties at every country. I have not gotten a booster shot. And I don't think I will now. We got the Pfizer. I think someone asked that already. Or I answered it somehow. Am I sad? I'm kind of sad. Yeah, I mean, my dad's supposed to be here right now. We're supposed to be at Saratoga Springs. It was gonna be great, great time with my dad. Of course, yeah, I'm, I'm sad. It sucks, it literally sucks. <coughs> Ow! On a scale of one to 10, um, I would say I'm a, yesterday I would say I'm a five, but today I'd say I'm a six. Um, and that's just with my cough, it hurts really bad, and how sleepy I am. I like this question, I like this question. So, um, Rope Drop, yeah, Rope Drop's gonna be a zoo now just because um, of the hotel guests staying on Disney property are going to be there before anybody else. So I think it's even more important to Rope Drop now. I don't know, we'll have to test it because at night, especially at Hollywood Studios, they've been a breeze. Um, but yeah, safe to say um, rope dropping just got even more difficult because of the hotel guests versus non-hotel guests, which we're gonna be like grouped with the non-hotel guests because I'm not gonna be able to book a Disney hotel every single time I rope drop. My middle name is William and so is my dad's. <clears throat> well, my doctor said that I can't go uh, and leave my place um, with other people that don't have COVID until the 1st. Um, I might ask if I can go on the 31st, but I'm pretty sure it's a no. So I can't really do anything until the 1st. I love cookies. I love cookies. I'm kind of basic sugar and um, chocolate chip. Uh, my mom makes some really, really good chocolate chip cookies. They're like so much sugar in it. Um, so yeah, I love her cookies, but I'm not picky. I'll eat any cookie. <clears throat> I'm like Santa when it comes to cookies. Depending on how long you guys have been here, 2019 was a crazy year for me. I mean, I worked full-time at Disney, worked at least 35 to 40 hours a week, and then I posted every single day on YouTube. I don't know how I did it to this day. I literally worked nonstop in 2019. It was it was a blast, but I don't know how, how I did that. I don't know how I did it. Passion took over, basically. It was crazy if you think about it. That was crazy. Well, everybody, I kind of had a plan to take some questions from YouTube, but I honestly am gonna end it here today. Um, I think you guys will understand. I just need to sleep and just not worry about making a video today. So um, thanks for sending all those questions in, guys. I'll have like a day in the life tomorrow. Hopefully I have some more energy, but today is just kind of, we went a little back hill today. Um, I just need to get some sleep and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Um, I think I'll do a live stream soon too, but um, in the meantime, I'm just gonna get some sleep. So thanks guys. Um, that was your daily dose of COVID. <laughs>